Well, we'd like to discuss a very important family matter right now. For 30 years, I sat at this desk at different times during the day with one of our own, Pat Shiraki. It's been five years since she was here delivering the news, good times and tough times. She always told it like it was, and she did it from the heart. Tonight, it's no different. I'm Pat Shiraki. We have breaking news. When this true legend of broadcasting told a story, people listened and learned. I'm looking at the images that you had sent me of the surgery. The story now is about brain surgery. Her own. I can't tell you how happy I am to see you. The feeling is mutual. Pat had a muffling feeling in her right ear looked at six years ago. And I thought maybe it had something to do with wearing the earpiece that we would wear on the air. It did not. But after more time had gone by, the feeling she originally felt was different. So further tests and more imaging was done. She received a phone call at home with the news. The neuroradiologist, that would be the doctor who read my MRI scan, thinks you have a brain tumor. Stop. When you heard that, what was your immediate reaction? How could that be possible? No headaches, no cognitive issues, but still no time to waste. That's your spinal fluid. Renowned University of Pennsylvania brain surgeon Dr. Donald O'Rourke led the surgery team of 10 doctors, all working as one. Here's your skull, there's your temporalis muscle, flip down. Wow. This session was the first time Pat had seen photographs of her surgery. Yuki, I have to tell you, it was traumatic surgery. But I didn't suffer. Suffering belongs to the people who have cared for those with COVID and for the families who had to say goodbye from the window. I had dramatic surgery, but I didn't suffer. And I'm so happy to be able to say that on October 22nd, so about six days after surgery, I learned that I did not have cancer, that this growth was benign. That brought me to my knees. That brought tears to my eyes. Over 99% of what I operate on is a malignancy, brain cancer. Most of the lesions that we find in the substance of the brain in someone in their 60s is what we call a malignant glioma. Pat's lesion was successfully removed before it had any chance of dangerous development. The most extreme form of a glioma is a glioblastoma. Which took the life of people like Bo Biden, Tug McGraw, Darren Dalton. So we wanted to be proactive. Why? Do you want to share your story? I want to share my story because of the way that this growth in my brain was revealed. But I feel like it's important for all of us, especially those of us at a certain age, to pay attention to what our body is telling us. Did your faith waver a little bit or did it strengthen? I can tell you with complete sincerity that I felt that the way that this was found, that it was an indication that there was more for me to do in my life. A life that now includes an incredible friendship with a certain surgeon and his team, and an even deeper love for her personal team members in the clubhouse. I could not have gone through this without the man who's the rock in my life, and that's my husband. <laughs> Pat and I would joke and say that I was her TV husband, and we both know that in our business, great storytelling is a gift. But being able to tell your own story is a true blessing as we continue to listen and learn. The doctor, Dr. Rowe, as he's called, told Pat there's zero chance of the lesion coming back because it didn't have the cell makeup to do so. Pat's written a detailed online account of her journey in her own words, and you can read that right now at cbsphilly.com. Okay, Pat told me to tell you and everyone here at the shop hello, and I don't care how cold it gets, her story definitely warms the heart, huh? I just, I, oh. I love Pat so much. She's like a, was like a mentor to me, and she no is so brave and so poised and so wonderful. My sister sure from another mister. Pat, we call. love you. I'm so glad <laughs> you're doing do. okay. That's great. Great story.